One of the most famous and broadly perceived indifferent thinkers ever is Marcus Aurelius. He was the remainder of the five respectable sovereigns to govern as a Roman ruler, administering from 161 to 180 following Christ. At that point, he stood firm on quite possibly of the most remarkable foothold on the planet, and in the event that he decided he could get to his enticements in general and wants and have them satisfied. However, he decided to give his life to seeking after equity and reasonableness. Aurelius carved out the opportunity while an ability to compose the reflections, an assortment of self-portraying papers that has become one of the vital works of emotionless way of thinking. In the contemplations, Aurelius relates how plans for the day and personal growth manuals, these were for the most part worried about taking on an enormous perspective and fundamentally assessing your judgment of others and yourself. Aurelius involved his own indifferent way of thinking as the leader of a solid domain that got through various fights to relinquish pressure and stress and to be the most fit and trustworthy pioneer he could be. As well as being a hypothesis, the exceptionally notable and age-old way of thinking of emotionlessness is likewise a truly persuading perspective in acting. The Stoics had areas of strength for a that acting ethically was the key to individual fulfillment, and that acting ethically required great judgment and level-headed idea. Considering this, in this video we will examine how you can develop a sensible brain by gaining five vital ideas from Marcus Aurelius's lessons that will empower you to think all the more obviously. Kindly check your channel membership before we proceed. The way that you are bought in is critical to help us and rouse us to make more recordings. <sighs> Click be a part. Foster your faculty's first illustration on your insight. Decide not to be hurt, and you won't feel hurt, exhorts Marcus Aurelius. One of the main illustrations of aloofness is to assume command over your view. Try not to feel injured and you haven't been. We're acquainted with condemning all that we experience, including individuals, occasions, and stop. Everyone gets a worth evaluation. Something was either great, terrible, intriguing, exhausting, wonderful, or revolting. For instance, unbeknownst to us, this is a very depleting action that could adversely affect our life. For example, seeing each cooperation you have on an especially troublesome day as horrendous makes the day by and large appear to be a lot of more terrible. It might be that one exhausting occasion in your week on the off chance that you depict a party you went to as exhausting. We, every now and again, permit our feelings to variety our initial appraisals of things, which infers that they are most likely not absolutely impartial. Moreover, we have a penchant to talk in representations and distortions that exacerbate circumstances, which remains closely connected with our inclination to pass judgment on each moment of our life. Assuming your darling dumps you, you may rather allude to how they essentially never again feel the same way about you as they once did by saying that they made you extremely upset. Your sentiments are impacted by the manner in which you think and talk. The manner in which you accidentally decide to contemplate the occurrence as opposed to the actual occasion gives you pessimistic sentiments. Conversely, the... Stoics encourage individuals to utilize alert while simply deciding and to painstakingly consider all they experience. Fixing your decisions, which basically implies looking past them to see something through a more certain and sensible focal point, is one of the techniques to be mindful. You could attempt to consider that dull party a chance to see an alternate area and meet a few new individuals. Try not to pass judgment on others. All right, so you could understand later that you didn't actually associate with anybody, however you weren't anticipating anything awful. The best way to deal with start retraining your viewpoint on life is to rehearse not making a decision about everything in light of your most memorable drive and feeling. At whatever point you have an assessment on something, attempt to pause and ask yourself, is this normal? What is the establishment for my viewpoint? Is there a more precise or inspiring understanding of this? Marcus Aurelius underscored that damages can exist assuming they are considered such. 
This suggests that any troublesome occasion Eugen you've had appears to be more troublesome the more troublesome you think it is. Thus, you are in finished control of how much certain conditions influence you. The Stoics additionally urge you to search for the open door or wellspring of good in any adverse occasion. Flipping around the obstacle is really difficult for fostering an unemotional point of view. You could feel baffled. One of the most famous and broadly perceived and different thinkers ever is Marcus Aurelius. He was the remainder of the five respectable sovereigns to govern as a Roman ruler, administering from 161 to 180 following Christ. At that point, he stood firm on quite possibly of the most remarkable foothold on the planet, and in the event that he decided he could get to his enticements in general and wants and have them satisfied. However, he decided to give his life to seeking after equity and reasonableness. Aurelius carved out the opportunity while an ability to compose the reflections, an assortment of self-portraying papers that has become one of the vital works of the motionless way of thinking. In the contemplations, Aurelius relates how plans for the day and personal growth manuals, these were for the most part worried about taking on an enormous perspective and fundamentally assessing your judgment of others and yourself. Aurelius involved his own indifferent way of thinking as the leader of a solid domain that got through various fights to relinquish pressure and stress and to be the most fit and trustworthy pioneer he could be. As well as being a hypothesis, the exceptionally notable and age-old way of thinking of emotionlessness is likewise a truly persuading perspective in acting. The Stoics had areas of strength for a that acting ethically was the key to individual fulfillment, and that acting ethically required great judgment and level-headed idea. Considering this, in this video we will examine how you can develop a sensible brain by gaining five vital ideas from Marcus Aurelius's lessons that will empower you to think all the more obviously. Kindly check your channel membership before we proceed. The way that you are bought in is critical to help us and rouse us to make more recordings. <sighs> Click be a part. Foster your faculty's first illustration on your insight. Decide not to be hurt, and you won't feel hurt, exhorts Marcus Aurelius. One of the main illustrations of aloofness is to assume command over your view. Try not to feel injured and you haven't been. We're acquainted with condemning all that we experience, including individuals, occasions, and stop. Everyone gets a worth evaluation. Something was either great, terrible, intriguing, exhausting, wonderful, or revolting. For instance, Unbeknownst to us, this is a very depleting action that could adversely affect our life. For example, seeing each cooperation you have on an especially troublesome day as horrendous makes the day by and large appear to be a lot of more terrible. It might be that one exhausting occasion in your week on the off chance that you depict a party you went to as exhausting. We, every now and again, permit our feelings to variety our initial appraisals of things, which infers that they are most likely not absolutely impartial. Moreover, we have a penchant to talk in representations and distortions that exacerbate circumstances, which remains closely connected with our inclination to pass judgment on each moment of our life. Assuming your darling dumps you, you may rather allude to how they essentially never again feel the same way about you as they once did by saying that they made you extremely upset. Your sentiments are impacted by the manner in which you think and talk. The manner in which you accidentally decide to contemplate the occurrence as opposed to the actual occasion gives you pessimistic sentiments. Conversely, the... Stoics encourage individuals to utilize alert while simply deciding and to painstakingly consider all they experience. Fixing your decisions, which basically implies looking past them to see something through a more certain and sensible focal point, is one of the techniques to be mindful. You could attempt to consider that dull party a chance to see an alternate area and meet a few new individuals. Try not to pass judgment on others. Alright, so you could understand later that you didn't actually associate with anybody however you weren't anticipating anything awful.
The best way to deal with start retraining your viewpoint on life is to rehearse not making a decision about everything in light of your most memorable drive and feeling. At whatever point you have an assessment on something, attempt to pause and ask yourself, is this normal? What is the establishment for my viewpoint? Is there a more precise or inspiring understanding of this? Marcus Aurelius underscored that damages can exist assuming they are considered such. This suggests that any troublesome occasion usually you've had appears to be more troublesome the more troublesome you think it is. Thus, you are in finished control of how much certain conditions influence you. The Stoics additionally urge you to search for the open door or wellspring of good in any adverse occasion. Flipping around the obstacle is really difficult for fostering an unemotional point of view. You could feel baffled. When a new collaborator is a sluggish student and their mistakes hurt the business's primary concern, this representative it hinders your endeavors to find success, productive and beneficial. Be that as it may, this situation can likewise introduce an opportunity for good. You will be able to foster your understanding, come out better as a teacher, figure out how to coordinate new representatives into the group, and work on dealing with unpleasant circumstances. These capacities ought to assist you with getting more cash over the long haul and be significant in later on. Marcus Aurelius is credited with saying the obstruction to activity progresses activity. Concerning this point, what disrupts everything in the long run turns into the way. All in all, get some margin to take a gander at things equitably as opposed to assessing all that you experience brutally. You might find that life is more straightforward and more clear than you at first accepted. Each situation has both an additional inspiring and a really elevating translation. Nothing will bother you however much it did after you make the fundamental mental changes and life will go substantially more easily for you. Foster close to home limitation. Second example, ace profound restriction. Marcus Aurelius directs us to forgo permitting our sentiments to conquer everything that our brains are saying to us. Shut down your false reverence, self-centeredness, and peevishness. It makes sense that acting nonsensically is much of the time portrayed as being in sharp differentiation to carrying on a feeling. Nothing can weaken our judgment more than our own sentiments. In this manner, one of the most vital capacities to create on the off chance that you wish to think appropriately consistently is the ability to get a good grip on your feeling. Marcus Aurelius accepted that fury specifically actually hurts more than great. As opposed to prevalent thinking or endeavors, dealing with your feelings doesn't involve smothering them. At the point when you experience gigantic resentment because of a disloyalty, you can't smother it by denying it to yourself or others, or by going about like all is great. Regardless of how far you push it, it will in any case be there. As per the Stoics, controlling feelings like fury is achieved by diverting them somewhere unexpected. Hence, when you next feel furious, consider how you can manage it. In spite of the fact that it could be appealing, can shouting at the individual who harmed you make things any better for you? Will it make the individual you were double-crossed by better? Will it help you in settling the issue? Obviously not. Despite the fact that it feels better at the time, carrying on of outrage is unreasonable. You shouldn't just perceive yet an addition value the way that we don't think judiciously when we are overwhelmed with outrage. For example, in the event that you can communicate your sentiments in a reasonable and quiet way, you are bound to be perceived by the individual who hurt you. Your probability of finding a goal to your concern will increment too. This will assist you with re-establishing the connection between both of you and leave your relationship good than it was previously. In any case, in the event that the relationship is harmed hopeless, you will have pursued the more responsible option by not bringing yourself down to their level. Therefore, your close-to-home control would emphatically affect your judgment. In the wake of having dominated this idea, you might need to continue on toward additional theoretical ideas. A 
solid comprehension of rationale and the capacity to think basically our basic abilities to have. Thus, you will be in a superior situation to recognize when your feelings are blurring your judgment and to determine the matter by making the suitable move. Close to home control is especially hard for a few of us since we imagine that our sentiments are realities. It would be ideal for you to recall, nonetheless, that your sentiments are only one part of what your identity is and don't necessarily in all cases address reality. For instance, on the off chance that you feel uncomfortable while introducing a show, it doesn't infer that you will give an unfortunate show. It just recommends that you are somewhat apprehensive. Attempt to help yourself to remember this the following time you become close to home and permit your contemplations to be impacted by your sentiments. It will assist you with controlling your sentiments and to make sensible moves. Foster Mindfulness, third illustration, Perceive Yourself. Marcus Aurelius additionally encouraged us to get to know our actual selves. Realize what drives you and what fulfills you. As per Marcus Aurelius, improving as a scholar includes perceiving your imperfections and attempting to beat them. You should be aware of your downfalls and have the option to pinpoint precisely where they start. Joe. When you comprehend the reason why you act the manner in which you truly do, could you at any point desire to change? In this manner, being aware of the way that you are dependent upon similar downfalls as every other person is pivotal. You should perceive that you are not faultless and that you commit errors. This is on the grounds that the beginning stage of all intelligence is to understand that you don't know anything. Mindfulness can be developed by considering your activities and gaining from your errors. Marcus Aurelius kept a diary in which he would consistently record his considerations and activities. We can glean some useful knowledge about ourselves and our examples of conduct by keeping a comparative record. This information can assist us with recognizing what drives us and what makes us act nonsensically. For example, assuming you notice that you, as often as possible, become upset when individuals don't answer your messages immediately, you can do whatever it may take to address this. You could advise yourself that not every person has the very needs as you and that individuals might have legitimate purposes behind not answering right away. You could likewise rehearse persistence and make an effort not to by and by take things. Thusly, you will be better ready to objectively get a handle on your feelings and think more. Mindfulness additionally includes being straightforward with yourself about your assets and shortcomings. You should have the option to perceive where you succeed and where you want to get to the next level. This will empower you to lay out practical objectives and work towards accomplishing them. For example, assuming you know that you tend to dawdle, you can do whatever it takes to address this. You could separate undertakings into more modest, more reasonable advances and set cutoff times for yourself. You could likewise look for help from others or use apparatuses, for example, using time productively applications to assist you with remaining focused. By being straightforward with yourself about your shortcomings, you can find proactive ways to conquer them and come out better as a scholar. All in all, mindfulness is a urgent expertise to create if you have any desire to improve as a scholar. By perceiving your defects and attempting to beat them, you can work on your capacity to think fundamentally and use wise judgment. Keeping a diary, considering your activities, and being straightforward with yourself about your assets and shortcomings are viable ways of developing mindfulness. Thusly, you will be better ready to get a handle on your feelings, perceive when your judgment is being obfuscated, and do whatever it may take to resolve the issue. At last, mindfulness will empower you to turn into a more normal and compelling mastermind. Foster strength, fourth illustration, harden yourself up. Marcus Aurelius additionally suggested that we harden ourselves up and get ready for the difficulties ahead. Be ready for mishaps and troubles, exhorts Marcus Aurelius. 
The Stoics accepted that misfortune was an inescapable piece of life and that it was critical to be ready for it. Thusly, one of the vital lessons of aloofness is the significance of creating versatility and mental sturdiness. Strength is the capacity to quickly return from misfortunes and hardships and to continue onward notwithstanding affliction. It empowers us to drive forward notwithstanding deterrence and to keep pursuing our objectives in spite of the difficulties we might experience. Marcus Aurelius accepted that strength was an urgent excellence and that it was fundamental for driving a blissful and satisfying life. He perceived that life was brimming with promising and less promising times and that it was vital to have the option to endure the hardships and continue onward. Subsequently, he urged his devotees to develop strength and to set themselves up for the difficulties ahead. There are multiple ways of creating flexibility and mental strength. One of the best ways is to embrace a development mentality and to consider misfortunes and challenges to be valuable open doors for development and learning. Rather than considering inability to be an indication of ineptitude or insufficiency, attempt to see it as a characteristic piece of the growing experience. By rethinking disappointment along these lines, you can gain from your errors and use them as venturing stones to progress. One more method for creating strength is to rehearse taking care of oneself and to deal with your physical and psychological wellness. This implies getting sufficient rest, eating a solid eating routine, practicing consistently, and carving out opportunity to unwind and loosen up. By dealing with yourself, you can develop your stores of energy and strength and better adapt to the difficulties life tosses your direction. At long last, it's Essential to develop areas of strength for an organization of companions, family, and tutors who can give consolation and backing during troublesome times. By encircling yourself with positive impacts, you can draw strength from others and better explore the high points and low points of life. All in all, strength is a vital prudence that can assist us with enduring the hardships of life and continue onward despite difficulty. By embracing a development outlook, rehearsing taking care of oneself, and developing areas of strength for an organization, we can foster the flexibility and mental sturdiness we really want to flourish in an unsure world. Marcus Aurelius perceived the significance of strength and urged his supporters to develop this ideals for the purpose of driving a cheerful and satisfying life. By following his model, we can figure out how to embrace the difficulties of life and arise more grounded and stronger subsequently. Foster empathy. Fifth illustration, be thoughtful to other people. Marcus Aurelius additionally underlined the significance of being kind and caring towards others. Be caring, for everybody you meet is contending energetically fight, exhorts Marcus Aurelius. The Stoics accepted that benevolence and sympathy were fundamental ideals and that they were key to carrying on with a decent and idealistic life. Marcus Aurelius perceived that we are undeniably associated as people and that we have an obligation to help and support each other. Subsequently, he urged his supporters to develop generosity and sympathy in their collaborations with others. There are multiple ways of developing generosity and empathy in our lives. One of the best ways is to rehearse sympathy and to attempt to see the world according to the viewpoint of others. Rather than passing judgment on individuals or making presumptions about their inspirations, attempt to imagine their perspective and comprehend what they are used to. By rehearsing sympathy along these lines, you can foster a more noteworthy feeling of empathy and understanding towards others. One more method for developing benevolence and empathy is to rehearse thoughtful gestures consistently. This could be basically as straightforward as grinning at a more odd, holding the entryway open for somebody, or offering a thoughtful word to a companion out of luck. By playing out these little thoughtful gestures, you can light up somebody's day and have a constructive outcome in their life. At last, it's vital to rehearse self-empathy and to be thoughtful to ourselves as well as others. This implies treating ourselves with the very graciousness and empathy that we would stretch out to a companion out of luck. By rehearsing self-sympathy, we can foster more noteworthy flexibility and inward strength and better adapt to the difficulties of life. Taking everything into account, benevolence and empathy are fundamental ethics that can assist us fabricate more grounded and more significant associations with others. 
by rehearsing sympathy, performing thoughtful gestures and rehearsing self-empathy, we can develop these ethics in our lives and have a constructive outcome on the planet. Marcus Aurelius perceived the significance of graciousness and sympathy and urged his devotees to develop these excellencies for the purpose of carrying on with a decent and upright life. By following his model, we can figure out how to be kinder and more sympathetic towards others and make a seriously mindful and caring world for people in the future. These five illustrations got from the lessons of Marcus Aurelius can assist you with creating more grounded, decisive reasoning abilities and become a more sane and compelling mastermind. By developing close-to-home control, mindfulness, strength, and sympathy, you can work on your capacity to think basically and use wise judgment. These ideals were fundamental to the way of thinking of emotionlessness and are similarly as pertinent today as they were in old Rome. Subsequently, by concentrating on the lessons of Marcus Aurelius and applying them to your own life, you can improve as a mastermind and carry on with a more joyful and really satisfying life. The lessons of Marcus Aurelius give ageless insight that can assist us with exploring the intricacies of life and become better scholars and people. By integrating these examples into our day-to-day -day routines, we can develop profound flexibility, scholarly lucidity, and moral uprightness. Whether confronting individual difficulties or worldwide emergencies, the standards of emotionlessness offer an enduring aid for living with reason and insight. Keep in mind, the excursion towards improving as a scholar and individual is progressing and requires predictable exertion and self-reflection. By embracing the lessons of Marcus Aurelius and other indifferent scholars, we can set out on a way of consistent development and satisfaction.